I'm very much a, a proponent of making sure that um, our students, our athletes, our players just aren't defined by the sport that they play. Uh, there's so many other layers and pieces uh, that come with this institution. That's why I'm proud that we are a part of different things around our campus and our community because it resonates here at Harvard. Um, we, we're, we have a breakfast club. We just had that the, uh, last week and uh, we have many folks in the community here on campus and throughout the Boston community and we bring our players to once a month to meet various individuals there to get exposure, to be mentored by these individuals. Uh, that's important to me. I think it helps us on the court. Uh, I've, I've said before that you know we don't do these things off the court because we won some games. I really feel like we've been able to win games because of these things that we do. And the Breakfast Club is one. We are constantly involved in the Boys and Girls Club, you know, uh, here in the Boston community. Uh, we do different things, what we call faculty food and fellowship, where we will have an interesting faculty member on our campus to speak to our players, uh, watch us practice if they can, have a, have a meal with us if they can, but speak to them about their journey and just a Q&A and a fun-filled, low-key environment that our players can learn. But we're also connecting people. Anytime you do these kinds of things off the floor, we feel like we're bringing about a connection within our community, which can only, in my mind, help our players, help our community, help our campus, and certainly help our program. Uh, we've always tried to utilize and maximize, it's probably a better word to say, maximize our time. Uh, ways that we can uh, continually teach and educate uh, through our trips, through our environments. We've taken trips to Washington, D.C. to play Howard University, for instance, and you know, we've been able to utilize that to maybe have that game scheduled purposely on Dr. Martin Luther King holiday um, and to celebrate that with the game of basketball with a HBCU, Historically Black College University and Howard University in Washington, D.C. to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King, take our kids to the National Mall so they can see the monument. Uh, we were able to see Dr. King's mo monument, we were able to see the Lincoln Memorial. Um, wonderful things that we try to do with our players. When we've gone to, we played a game in Atlanta. We played Mercer, and we played at the, where well, the Hawks play. And we were also able to have an opportunity to um, worship at Ebenezer Baptist Church, where Dr. King was, was pastor and his family uh, pastored that church, and a legendary historic uh, place. And we went there uh, to have Sunday service, and it was the last Sunday of the year. And we were fortunate enough that it was actually the same time that former president and first lady Carter uh, wanted to have their worship service as well. And by David Gergen being here at Harvard and being associated with our program, uh, the Center for Public Leadership at the Kennedy School uh, made a call for us uh, and said that um, allowed us to maybe have a chance to meet President Carter and take a picture and a photo and speak to him. You know, uh, things like that are, are invaluable. Um, they're priceless. And we also feel things like that are possible because of Harvard.